after a couple of days of uh, searching, I finally found a way to run Whisper, uh, the OpenAI uh, speech recognition and transcription model, uh, bas basically uh, captions stuff in real time. And I figured out how to run it in Windows and on AMD. This will actually work on AMD and uh, NVIDIA because it runs through DirectX 12 and it uh, runs in a very easy uh, EXE format. You just download the Whisper Desktop and you unzip it and it comes in an EXE. And it actually looks like this. So when you first download it, when you first download it, it only comes with the Whisper DLL and it comes with the EXE. And then you have to go to this other link in the description and you have to download the model that you'd like to use. Um, so right now, I, right now I'm transcribing, or actually no, I'm not right now. I have it open, but um, let me just show you what you have to do. So uh, you have to select here, this is the first page you'll see, you have to select the uh, model that you want to use. Right now I'm using the large model, and um, so you select the model after you download it from here. You just click on the whatever model you want and then click download. And um, let's see. So I'm going to click OK. It's going to load the model into my GPU. And as you can see, when I was running it previously, it was using about 4 gigabytes of VRAM, and that's for the large model. So uh, that means that you should be able to run this on even, uh, you know, medium-end graphics cards like a uh, RTX 480 or a 5700 or something like that. Okay, so finally it's loaded into the GPU. Um, <clears throat> and what I can do here is select my microphone. And then uh, you can save the transcriptions to a file in real time, which is super nice. And you can also transcribe uh, files instead of transcribing real time audio. But uh, just for a demonstration, I'm going to transcribe my speech in real time. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause it and wait for it to start up. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's picking up my voice activity and then it's uh, transcribing in real time. And I'll show you in Task Manager how uh, it is using my GPU right there. So it'll have like little spikes. Uh, gonna move this down here, move that up here. Uh, something like that, okay. So now you can see everything. And you can see it, it does use my GPU. It's not using my CPU. If we go to this, OpenAI's Whisper, it's using only half a percent of my CPU, but it uses a decent amount of GPU. It kind of comes in spikes. It'll like listen first, and then it will transcribe, and then listen and transcribe. So you can see everything in real time popping up. Well, almost in real time. It keeps up, uh, but it's probably five, 10 seconds behind. But you can see it real time transcribing here. And um, if you had this click to save to text file, after you are done transcribing, it would all be in the text file. And you can even include timestamps. Um, and if you transcribe a file, it will actually give you more options. You can have different formats, you can have it in a text file, you can have it in, uh, what is it, like an SRT file or something like that? I don't remember what they're called, but like like actual transcription files and you can see it works pretty well it has it has a system for basically telling you like it's confidence interval so the red text is less confident uh, that it got the word right and the uh, closer it is to green the more uh, confident in its uh, choice of wording so it's it's actually quite good. Uh, it even comes with, um, you know, punctuation and stuff. And uh, my voice just changed. I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, it's quite good. It even has the ellipses here when I 
I <laughs> forget what to say. <clears throat> but it's pretty much as good as, it's almost as good as YouTube's transcription, except it includes uh, punctuation, so in that way it is better. Uh, but that's how you transcribe in real time on Windows, uh, using an AMD card uh, or NVIDIA card. It works for either one. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments. But uh, as this is a uh, program that was written in C++ that I had no part of, uh, you know, I didn't contribute to this at all. So uh, there's only so much I could actually help you with. I recommend if you're having problems, um, you can go to the issues tab and you can uh, either search for your issue here or you can make a new issue if you don't see anything. One issue that I found was that uh, sometimes it will repeat itself <clears throat> like this. And this guy says you can fix it by basically editing the code and then building it again from source. But uh, I am not going to be doing that yet because it works good enough for my purposes. But uh, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hit subscribe, join the Discord, give the video a like. Um, and if I helped you out, uh, leave a thumbs up. So thanks for watching.